Um, the reason that we asked uh, you to come here today is uh, on a child sexual abuse matter. And we have today filed a lawsuit on behalf of a former student of Presentation High School against Presentation High School, its administrator, Mary Miller, and a former teacher, Jeffrey Hicks. We allege in that suit, and we will prove, that when the plaintiff was 15 years old and a 10th grade student, she began to get groomed by her teacher, Jeffrey Hicks, at presentation. Now, many of you may know this, but grooming is a process where a sexual predator takes steps through different means to uh, insinuate themselves and then isolate a, a target. And it's typically a male doing it, and the target is typically a female, as in this case. Grooming by sex offenders is, uh, as I mentioned, a gradual process where through trust, kindness, and threats, they eventually uh, have the child involved in a uh, sexual abuse situation. And this is what happened to her when she was 15 and 16 years old. This abuse, we will prove, occurred both on school grounds and off school grounds, including on a school-sponsored theater trip to New York City. When the student herself tried to put an end to the molestation, Hicks told her he would kill himself or have her arrested, and these types of threats and grooming behavior continued. Now, my experience with uh, countless sex abuse victims is that the predator, sooner or later, will take steps through control or threats or manipulation to take control of uh, the targeted child or minor, and that's what happened in this case. We also allege that Hicks' behavior was eventually discovered by staff at presentation, and in particular, Administrator Mary Miller. Hicks and others, Hicks himself and others, reported inappropriate conduct to her. And Miller failed to follow mandatory reporting laws, which allowed Hicks to stay and be alone and teach others unsuspecting children at presentation for the rest of that school year and for a summer session. Now, mandatory reporting is contained in California law in the penal code. It's a criminal offense. A mandatory reporter, such as an administrator, a teacher, a nurse, if they have any reasonable suspicion or inkling of inappropriate conduct, they must report. It's not a discretion. They must report. Now, Miller's actions in not following the mandatory reporting laws allowed Hicks to have a clean teaching record when he left employment at presentation. And he later gained employment at a school for children with learning disabilities. At that school, he was later found guilty of sexual crimes with a minor. And he is now a lifetime sex offender. Miller also shamed and ridiculed the presentation student into silence and made promises to help her, but never did. And one of our claims in this case is for punitive damages against both Miller and Hicks to not only um, punish and set an example of uh, this conduct, but also to send a message to others in this uh, uh, community and uh, really nationwide that you must follow mandatory reporting laws. And in that regard, I want to read to you a statement by gymnast Sarah Klein, who recently said, and she was the first victim of Dr. Larry Nasser in the Michigan State matter, and it's appropriate for us too. Ms. Klein said, 
quote, we must start caring about children's safety more than we care about adults' reputations. And that's what this case is all about. Now, uh, so we have filed this lawsuit against Presentation High School Mary Miller and Jeffrey Hicks to seek accountability from these defendants and to make sure these types of acts against children never happen again. Today, our client, who is quite courageous to come forward now, is a licensed creative arts therapist for severely autistic four and five-year-olds for the New York City School District. She is very accomplished on the outside, but as with the Olympic athletes, you don't see the inside struggles and challenges that she goes through every day because of what happened to her at presentation. So we have filed this suit in large part to get justice for her. So thank you. Do you think it's happening now, or do you still think there is a systemic problem with presentation? Um, I can tell you that from what I've seen about past allegations, that it uh, has happened in the past, including what we're discussing here today. The, uh, my understanding is that the presentation school, through its leaders, has decided to keep Mary Miller as an administrator, despite all of these allegations and statements by former students. In our view, the keeping of her as an administrator, after they've been put on notice of these allegations, is a continuing ratification of the wrong acts that took pass, place in the past. And, and so that's what we're going to prove. For your client, for, for this former student, yes. what's the most important thing that she wants to have come out of all of this? Um, I think that she would like this case to stand for uh, prevention and protection of children. She's dedicated her life to it. And if we can make that happen through the awareness of what took place and what happened to her, and she's extremely courageous. Uh, and as you know, litigation can be really trying for someone, especially with an emotional, deep uh, impact on a person that this has had on her. But I think the bottom line is if we can help others through what she went through, that's our goal.